We've looked at diagrams for continuous time systems and for discrete time systems as well, but the discrete time systems are significantly more complex than their continuous time counterparts, and this is something that the diagrams really reveal. Up until now, we've really been focused on equilibria, and in this setting, things are really nice, even in discrete time, but there are other things that I have not yet shown you. One of these is periodicity. There are periodic phenomena that can happen. What do I mean by that? I mean that you can look at a discrete time dynamical system, you can draw the diagram, you can pick an initial condition, and instead of having it run to an equilibrium or move away from an equilibrium, it bounces back and forth in a periodic manner. It repeats over and over again. And these periodic orbits can be rather complex. They can also exhibit the same sorts of stabilities that equilibria can. Some of them attract nearby initial conditions. Some of them repel nearby initial conditions. But wait, that's not all beyond periodic orbits. There are chaotic dynamics embedded within certain discrete time systems. Even in simple looking systems, you can have initial conditions where you just bounce around endlessly and the diagrams look like a complicated mess. What is happening here? How are we ever going to figure this out? Well, that is a story that is to be continued. If we look at the diagrams associated with chaos, for the moment, it's just a mystery. But in time, we're going to acquire the tools and perspectives needed to analyze these chaotic dynamics more carefully. But for the moment, we need to focus our attention on understanding the periodic phenomena that we have seen. That's up next.